Today we enter the great season of Advent, the beginning of the Christian year, the season when we prepare for Christmas, but a season that's often swamped by the very thing that we're preparing for as Christmas seems to start earlier and earlier every year. And indeed in a few days time, the first of many carol services will take place here at St Paul's Cathedral when thousands of people will come to celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace. But Advent is also a season of preparation for our death. And that's hard because death isn't something we like to think too much about. But it's preparation for the time when we will stand in the presence of Christ at the end of our lives to give an account of ourselves a time when we hope we will be able to look Christ in the eyes and say to him that in this life we did our best. People often ask me what heaven might be like. I don't know. I don't like to give too certain an answer to that question. I once said, I'm not certain about anything, but I'm hopeful about everything. Certainty can often produce hard edges to religion, which create trip hazards for people to stumble against. But nevertheless, we do need something to hanker after in our quest for heaven. John Donne was Dean of St Paul's in the 17th century and, of course, a great English poet. And he wrote a prayer in which he provides us with a beautiful vision of heaven. I'm standing before an effigy of John Donne. It's his funeral effigy. It's an image of John Donne at the very moment at which he stands before the presence of Christ. Bring us, O Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven, to enter into that gate and dwell in that house where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, but one equal light no noise nor silence, but one equal music, no fears nor hopes, but one equal possession, no ends nor beginnings, but one equal eternity, in the habitations of thy glory and dominion, world without end. Amen. I hope that the joy of the Christ child will be yours this Christmas, and that the hope of heaven will sustain you when you fall and when you are strong.